In this lecture, we will create the 3D text. I click on the text tool. I click on the canvas, and type, Inkscape. I use Shrikehand, which is a free Google font. I click on the select tool. When I hold control, I can easily change the size of the text. I would like to curve the text. To do this, I first have to convert the text to paths. I go to path, object to path. To curve the path, I click on path effects. From the menu, I choose, bend. I click on the edit on canvas icon. Now I see a green line. Using the tool, I can curve the line. To finalize the effect, I go to path, object to path. I press the spacebar. I go to my layers. I call the path, Inkscape. Now I want to give the text some depth. To do this, I go to extensions, generate from path, long shadow. I click on live preview. I set length to two. I click on apply and on close. We see below the text, I have a group. Like before, I want this group to be a single path. I open the group. I click on the top path. I drag the scroll bar to the bottom and I shift click on the bottom path. Now that all paths are selected, I go to path, union. I make the path 30% gray. I call the path, gray. Inkscape, like Illustrator, is very good at making groups. But I don't need them to be in a group. So I right click on the top group, and choose, ungroup. And I right click on the folder where gray is in, and choose, ungroup. Now I duplicate gray. I lower the duplicate one step. I make the path blue. I call the path, light blue. I zoom in, hold control, and drag the blue path below the gray path. In my layers, I place blue below gray. I hold control, and drag the blue path up, until it is roughly a quarter of the size of gray. I click on fill and stroke. I change the color a bit more to blue. Now I duplicate gray. I click on lower to bottom. I go to path, dynamic offset. I click on the node tool. Above the letter K, there is a node. I drag the node up, to make the path larger. To finalize the effect, I go to path, object to path. I hide the other paths. I see the new shape has some holes in it. To remove them, I go to path, break apart. Then I go to path, union. I will make the path a darker blue. I drag the blue a bit more to cyan. I call the path, dark blue. I want a shape to go from dark blue, to light blue. I right click on dark blue, and choose, set clip group. I click on the pen tool. I click on the canvas, click somewhere else, and press enter. I now have a line. I click on the node tool. When I drag the line in the middle, I can bend the line. I will drag the end nodes, outside the dark blue area. At the bottom left, I will increase the width of the line to about 75. I click on the dropper tool, and shift click on light blue. I will call the path, light blue line. I click on fill and stroke, and click on stroke paint. I set blur to 30. I click on the node tool, to get the curve right. I drag the line up. To move the line, I press Ctrl A, to select both nodes. Then I drag one of the nodes. I want to be able to drag the text, independent from the gradient. So I select the text related paths, and group them. Now I can move the text up, to get a more 3D look. I also want the gradient to be 3D, so I duplicate it. I drag the duplicate on top in the layer, and click on lower to bottom. I go to extensions, generate from path, long shadow. I set length to 7. I click on apply, and on close. I place the group on the bottom. As before, I will unify the 3D effect into a single path. I open the group. I click on the top path. I drag the scroll bar to the bottom, and I shift click on the bottom path. I go to path, union. And as before, I don't need them to be in a group, so I right click on the top group, and choose, ungroup and I right-click on the folder where the 3D effect is in, and choose, ungroup. I will call the new path, long shadow. I go to fill and stroke, and make long shadow a bit darker. To see the long shadow better, I will add a gradient. I will use dark blue for that. I make dark blue black. I call the path, gradient. I go to fill and stroke. I set blur to 25%. I will use long shadow to clip the gradient. I right-click on it, and choose, set clip group. I drag gradient in the clip group. I lower its opacity to 75%. I also would like a shadow below the text. So I duplicate Inkscape. I click on black. I set blur to 10%. I call the path, shadow. I press control, and drag it down. I click on lower to bottom. 
I can also move the shadow with my arrow keys. To move in smaller increments, hold the Alt key while pressing the arrow keys. Finally, I will place a shadow below the whole text object. I duplicate dark blue. I drag it on the top of the layer. I call the path shadow below. I make it black. I set blur to 30. I press Ctrl and drag the shadow down. I click on lower to bottom. And with my arrow keys, I can position the shadow.